So now, let's say I want to figure out what A is. So A is represented right here. Correct? Yes? Yes, yes, yes. So we're going to forget about H for a second. We're going to forget about H for a second. And I'm going to say, all right, so A, we're going to, what we're going to now do is represent A with the large triangle. So if I want to find A, I can say A is to Y, right? A is to Y as, now A represents the, law, A represents the hypotenuse. Of the big triangle, what's the length of my hypotenuse? What's the length of my big hypotenuse? A. Guys, where of this big triangle, what is my hypotenuse? A. What side length? Guys, here's the big triangle. Here's the right angle. Where does the right angle point to? This side. What is the name of that side? C. C. So, hypotenuse to short leg is the same as hypotenuse to short leg. What's my short leg? A. A. So I can say A is to Y as C is to um, A. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, C is to A. Therefore, I can apply again cross multiplication. A squared equals my y times c, square root, square root, a equals the square root of y times c. So therefore, if you are looking, um, therefore, if you want to find the length of a, you can just find the geometric mean of your y and your c. And we can do that the exact same way for to find x. So if I wanted to find x, we see that x, we can use x and um, what's my other length here? I have b. So I can say long leg is to hypotenuse. So I can say, or hypotenuse is to long leg. So hypotenuse is the long leg, as my hypotenuse again here for the big triangle, C, is to what's the long leg, A or B? Which one's the long leg, which one's the short leg? B. B is the long leg. So over C is to B. Again, cross multiply. B squared equals x times C, square root, square root. B equals the square root of xc. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's it. Got it?